Hi, Bob. It's Sam. Just gonna say hello. And I guess I know how you feel about that. And yes, someday I was in school too. And I still remember how other school and school would act. You know, you know, they were pretty weird, weirder than weird. You know, but then again, I was in second grade. And I was like, hi, and they're like, ah, ah, ah. hi. And I have some awkward moments, but um, you know what? Oh, I have to. I'm always here for you. And you are awesome. Better than any other version of a movie I know of. Anyway, um, my second pet peeve. Well, if you really want to make a good, if you really want to make a good friend, this is everybody, not just to others. But to make a good friend and to make good relationship with a friend, have a deep conversation. You know. Not like a quick sort of conversation. Something, some some conversation that you trust and feel comfortable talking about for this person. Like I said, just open up. You want some deeper than the weather, but less than something really personal and really secretive, you know. And. I really want to talk about this. Doing blood. I'm I am more skeptical and too concerned about doing my own blood. You know, good for people who do. I mean, I'm proud of them. I'm brave enough to go out there and do what they gotta do. Anyway, I die anytime before you do. Just what I said. I don't want to be cremated. I don't want to be put in a box. I don't want my organs to come out and donate by themselves. I will uh, be put by a tree, like you donate by a science, like a body field. And I want my my body to be up on a tree, against a tree. You know, clothes on. But um. So, like I said, up on a tree, closed, and, um, I just want to be pretty much, um, crap, I forgot the word I'm looking for. I want to be decomposed. You know, the only reason I'm saying it is because, you know, <laughs> tell it to people, you know. I'm too young to make a will, and I don't say health insurance, but, you know, but who needs health insurance if you're donating? You know, I'm donating in one piece, and you should be thankful for that. And if I ever come to the conclusion that I had an organ taken out or anything like that, I want to be put in the jar, want to be put in the jar, and when I die, with a tree, and with everything else, I want my organ to be right next to me so I can decompose peacefully. It's all one piece, you know? That's all. And then, I, I, after that, you know, after saying goodbye, uh, I like to have people tell a little bit more deep things, just like to talk about how, you know, just the news. Yeah. Sort of an open castle or you know, like a you funeral, know, you know? Mom. Just, just want to get together and go, hi, or remember that one time? I'm not saying I'm dying anytime soon. No, 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 no. 
No. I'm just saying if anything happens, you know what to do with me when I die. Just saying. Just saying. Just saying. Okay, so I got this inspiration about less than 30 seconds, 30 minutes ago. About this grandma who... Who... She was the type of grandma, you know, who stand up on a table and go, woo, as they're singing happy birthday to somebody not related or anything. Or, no. And I was just like, I want to be that grandma. I want to be just like her. And this one scene is where, you know, this is what inspired me to talk about it. Inspiration. Talk about it. Anyway. At this one point, she sits down with her granddaughter, and she's just like, and she really opened up to her, you know, and she's just like, oh, yeah, I did, oh, no, there's no, like, she knew her granddaughter's personal stuff for, for, you know, secrets, for, you know, something, something she, you don't really talk about to your grandma, you know, she was very open, you know, hmm. It was just very unusual. I was just like, I guess that's how, you know, that's how you get connected to your family or person right next to you. You never know who you're going to meet, you know. It only takes 30 seconds of stupidity to do something amazing. Too much. Only 30 seconds. Dead end felt sick. Luckily that, you know, I'm able to talk. You know, of course, if you drink something about this big with liquid, I'm pretty sure you could talk after that. Trust me, I had to pee a lot. I peed twice for the last hour. Anyway, felt sick. I hope you had a great week. I hope you have a great weekend, Bob. So I guess we'll see you chat you later. Bye. Have a nice weekend. Everything is going to the beach.